Okay, welcome back. So what I've done is I've created uh, just a little bit of text here just to finish out our home page. Uh, this is dummy text. So here you you know you can have this outline however you want. Um, I just put a little spot for an ad here or whatever. So our home page is done. So now what we want to do is we want to create links. All right, so. First thing we're going to do is click this uh, navigation bar. Now for home, we want to edit that, and we want to call this, you know, www.yourdomain.com, whatever your main domain is. Under target, you want to set that as self. Okay, and then you want to hit OK. Under videos, this is again is going to be www.yourdomain.com forward slash videos dot php remember to put that dot php in there that's important okay and under target we're gonna go self hit okay for blog we're gonna call this blog dot php under for target we're going to set that itself again hit OK if you have your blog if you're going to use a WordPress blog or something then you don't need to use the PHP for that one it's whatever the link to your external blog is and the target would actually be blank to open up in a new window for about us this is going to be uh, about dash us dot php and then you're going to set that to self hit ok contact us uh, same thing contact dash us dot php set that to self and hit ok all right, and then we're going to hit OK on that navigation bar. All right, so now what we want to do is set up, you know, a main template because this is our home page. And what we want to do is we want to basically save this as all those other pages except for blog. You know, we're going to make our blog an external page with WordPress, and I show you a video where I walk you through that. All right, so we're going to go save, and then we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to call this one videos, and hit save. So now we have our videos page. Okay, save that, file, save page as, about, dash, us, for our about us page, click save. Then we're going to file save page as for our contact dash us page as well. Okay? And hit save. So that's how you create different pages. You want to make sure that your main template is done before you create all your other pages because you don't want to have to make those same changes in every page. Right? So now we can go file open page and if we open our index and you can open multiple pages at a time we'll open our about us page we'll go here and we'll uh, we'll open our uh, videos page so we have four main pages here okay index page we know that our index page is pretty much how we want it right our about us page we don't really want our about us page to look like this so uh, all you have to do is get rid of the stuff that you don't want so for this we'll just uh, cut that out we'll cut that out we'll take this shape and we'll drag it over here like this uh, we'll get rid of this video cut that out of there we'll cut all this other stuff out of there right we'll move this text up and this will be called 
about us. Then you can drag that over here like that. Get rid of this shape. You know, drag this up however you want it. And there we go. Our About Us page is done. One more thing. For each page, you're going to have to go in and right click and change your page properties. All right? Because for your properties of your About Us page, you want to set like right here you want to change this to about us and under your um, page description you want to make sure that's a about us description and then click OK so there we go so we got our pages created um, for our site now the next thing we need to do is uh, publish our site. So in the next video I'm going to walk you through how to publish your site and how to get everything live. So um, hopefully you understand the link the links thing you know for your main page is going to be yourdomain.com and for each page you're going to have you know the extension for that page whatever you name your page as in Blue Vota like for example we named our about us page about dash us you're gonna use that same format but you're gonna put a dot PHP on the end of it so uh, hopefully you understand that if you don't um, visit the support area and uh, you should be able to figure that out so I'll see you in the next video